I'm Rachel Chase. I am making this video to share with you about what to expect um, in a virtual or remote healing session with me. Virtual, remote, same thing. Um, I'm going to make this short and sweet. So if you have any other questions, you can always email me. And my website is below. My email is below in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. And um, we'll just start out by giving you basically what those three types of sessions are that I provide. Okay. So I also do in-person sessions, but this is about the remote sessions and what to expect in those. Today is March 30th, 2020, and more and more people are going online. So we want to make this as accessible as possible for you. And right now, all of my rates are drastically lowered in order to do so. So um, just real quick about me, and you can read more about this on my website. I have been a healer, a facilitator, a guide, and a teacher for 10 to 20 years, depending on what it is you're talking about, whether it's yoga and meditation or Reiki or um, quantum healing, um, these various things that I've been trained in. <laughs> so all my life, um, I have had a deep sense of connection that there are um, energy guides with me, um, that, that I um, am being reminded of who and what I am on a soul level. And I know that that's part of what I'm here to do is to help others find what that means for them to connect with that deeper sense of essence within yourself, to receive the uh, wisdom, guidance, and support that you need in every moment, and to trust, to trust it, to trust yourself. So the, the healing work is about clearing whatever is in the way of that and receiving the energy you need to deepen that relationship with yourself, with your higher self, with your cosmic wisdom, with your soul, with, with the earth, with, um, with your guides. So the three types of sessions, one is, um, and these are the ones that I offer online. One is a 45 minute guided energy healing process. Very powerful, very unique, very special. Um, and it's, always just exactly what you need at that moment and it's it's full of uh, kind of a presence and, it, and it's mindful and there's channeled information that comes through and it's about you receiving exactly what you need at that time which really is all all intentional work all intentional healing work it's about what you need at that moment and trusting that you are going to receive what you need so the 45 minute session is done on the phone and you may do that with earbuds or speakerphone, and you'd be lying down or sitting in a safe place. I did an energy healing session with someone in Texas the other day, and she was outside under a tree, and it was amazing. We did a little bit of somatic processing with it, too, where we brought up whatever was going on in her system energetically, to mm, some trauma, some old wounds, some pain from the past that was stored inside of her body. And it just, she just was able to just let it go. And it was just so beautiful. So 45 minute energy healing. Now the second type is a 60 minute or a 90 minute integrative healing and mentoring session. And that can incorporate both the energy work as well as conversation and guidance, intuitive support, spiritual coaching, spiritual counseling, um, whatever you want to call this. <laughs> okay. This is where we meet through a video chat through zoom. I use zoom, um, or phone. It can be done on the phone too, but usually we meet via, via zoom and I see you and you see me and we have a conversation. We talk about your intentions. Maybe you want to learn something from me, whether it's about energy healing or yoga or breath work or mindfulness. Maybe you are um, working through something in your life, um, anxiety or, you know, your relationship stuff or some physical problems or um, some confusion and doubt or worry or fear that's going on. Maybe something happened to you and you want some support around that. 
Um, we might use oracle cards in that session. And if you're not familiar with what those are, we can talk about that. If you have questions, let me know. Um, and we might use sound healing in that session. I tend not to use a lot of sound healing over remote sessions. That's usually in an in-person session, but sometimes we do, especially when we're using our voice. So these are um, deep soul level uh, sessions together where we really work on processing, clearing, and bringing in whatever you're working on to, to heal in your life, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual levels. They're all welcome. And then there's the third kind, which is the BQH or Beyond Quantum Healing Sessions. I, I have been thinking of these as vision quests. These are um, kind of the next level where we access multidimensional self. Um, again, you book a consultation call. It's a little more involved than the other two. Um, you'll get an email how to prepare for the session. We'll talk about what you need uh, via technology because we'll still use Zoom, although it doesn't have to be video, but it could be. Most of them are, but I've had a couple where we just did audio and it was fine. But we want to be able to record that call because what happens in that session is that I act as your agent <laughs> with your higher self, okay? <laughs> and what that means is before the session, you have come up with a list of questions. Um, a list of desires, a list of intentions that all come into a cohesive intention for all the things that you'd like to discuss with your guides and your higher self during the healing session. So you're guided into a deeply relaxed state. We access the imaginal realm of being where you are able to lean back your everyday consciousness and allow your free form consciousness to go into the place of kind of a sleep wake state or maybe you don't even feel sleep wake some people are very very conscious during the whole process some people feel a little bit more like they've leaned back and they've gone into a dream state everybody's different but it involves a kind of hypnosis um, and hypnosis is a word that some folks think means you're going to go off somewhere and when you come back you won't remember what happened but that's not the case in these sessions what happens is um, we'll talk for about an hour um, and then we'll clearly get your intentions very much set and we do a ceremony, a water ceremony that um, brings in a powerful energy for you. We connect with your guides, your higher self, then you lie down. We take a little bit of a break, <laughs> you know, for bathroom breaks. Then we go into the what we call the induction where I guide you through a relaxation process and then allow the essence of you, the soul self of you, to go into a deeper place of connection with cosmic awareness, or like a dream state awareness, or a place where you can go that allows you to be guided into deeper access to information to be retrieved. And this is different for everybody. And through that guided journey, now I'm not telling you where you're going, you are showing, you are being shown by your own inner sight, your own inner knowing, your own inner sense of being. You're being given the information. And I'm asking you questions while you're answering these questions. And you're sort of telling me what you see. You're reporting to me verbally. You can hear me and I can hear you. You're reporting to me what is happening. And then we have a conversation. And at some point during this time, we have a conversation with your higher self and your guides to get the answers to all those questions that are on your list. Every single one of them gets covered in the session. What your intention is going in is exactly what gets addressed in this session. Very beautiful. These have been quite amazing journeys. I've been doing a little bit of writing about them and I'll be putting something together very soon that talks a little bit about some of those journeys. Okay, so that gives you a rundown of the three basic types of remote healing sessions and kind of what to expect, but I'm sure there's more, more questions you might have. Go to my website, rachelchase.com, book a consultation call if you feel called to. I wish you all the best on your journey. Be well, peace and blessings.